Hey friends, welcome to the Arrow Crow Show. I'm exhausted. Uh, there was a blizzard today. I'm recording this on Thursday, Thursday evening actually. Uh, I live in New York and there was a blizzard and I spent all of my day shoveling snow. And I'm beat. So is the dog. Uh, his name is Max, by the way. I don't know if we ever introduced you to them, her to you, and you find folks to her. Anyway, um, I shoveled snow. I was sore. I took a nap. Um, and then I just wanted to do something the exact opposite of shoveling snow. So I spent like an hour or two building a Star Wars model kit because I'm a nerd and I love Star Wars and I love model making. Um, and that's what I was doing. And I'm sitting there, I'm painting this um, Bandai uh, 170 second uh, scale A-Wing. And I started thinking about a friend of mine um, whose name is Jeremy. Um, we met in grad school. Um, he's a cinematographer, he lives in Pittsburgh, he's a really, really awesome dude, and I don't see him or talk to him enough, um, but weird autobiographical thing, uh, I went to grad school in San Francisco, and upon graduation I moved to LA to pursue a film career, um, and childhood tribulations have been up to me on the East Coast. That's all well and good. When I moved with my girlfriend from San Francisco to L.A., um, Jeremy moved down at the same time with us, so we pulled our resources and shared a U-Haul truck. Um, and so we had an apartment, and we moved down. Um, Jeremy hadn't found a place yet, um, so he was just going to crash on our sofa, and then he ended up getting... Uh, this is way too much detail. You don't even know this. Anyway, for about two weeks, uh, Jeremy slept on our sofa, um, with his cat, and, I mean, he didn't, like, I mean, his cat was there, nothing salacious or anything, um, his cat was really awesome, um, anyway, um, one of the things that, uh, we would do is, there's this game called Don't Starve, which is a survival roguelike, um, and, uh, yeah, uh, I was a single player at the time, there's DLC now, but I would play on the PS4, he had it for his computer, and we would sit next to each other, and I would play, and he would play uh, separate games, um, but we would, like, talk to each other about the game, and it was just always really fun. Um, and so I've been playing this game uh, that just came out called The Flame and the Flood, and it reminds me a lot of uh, both Don't Starve, and it just reminds me of my friend Jeremy, who... Uh, also paints uh, miniatures, um, which is why doing Star Wars models made me think of Jeremy to start with. Um, sorry, that wasn't clear. Anyway, this is Flame in the Flood. I want to kind of run through it with you real quick, and here we go. New campaign. Yes, I wish to proceed. And Traveler. Start. That was complicated. Ugh. So, this game came out for the Xbox One. Um, hi, honey. Yeah. Yeah, are you on YouTube? Yeah, you gotta get all the likes. If you like the dog, click that like button. Uh, for every like that she gets, uh, or for every like this video gets, I will give her a dog treat. Probably. Flame in the Flood. Um, you play a girl, I don't even think you have a name, you have a dog named Aesop, and you kind of travel uh, this post-apocalyptic wasteland and try to survive as long as possible. Um, I'm still kind of scratching the surface of it, but let's see what we can do. Go on her dog, a boy and her dog, boy and his dog. We're good. You know, let's skip all this nonsense. Alright, so here we are. Run around. Get charcoal. Can't pine wood. Hello. So, 
kind of run around. You can tell what's collectible because it's got this little, like, glowy thing. I can scare away this bird here who will drop a feather. So let's get us some water. You can see down at the bottom, uh, there's the green uh, hunger meter, the blue thirst meter, the red temperature, and the orange uh, rest. And so you have to balance these four, um, four stats while uh, taking quests and So, this? yeah. So I'm healthy. I have no ailments. Uh, all the things I can do, I can craft some clean water with my water filter. And let's break a cord. Make some tinder so I can make a fire later. It's got a pretty in-depth crafting system in it rolls it out really nicely um you're never like overwhelmed with oh my god what do i do um you can see so i can toss this in an aesop's bag he's really cool let's just head on the river um so uh, it reminds me a lot in a weird way of uh oregon trail um you kind of have to make these snap decisions and, and that's it. So the river's kind of rushing in one direction and there's, you know, it forks and uh, you can usually only go to one way. There's no backtracking, so you just got to keep moving forward, which is how I played Resident Evil 5. I'm kind of an RE5 apologist. Um, it was terrible, but it was very much a lot of fun. I put it co-op with another friend of mine, who is not Jeremy. So here we go, rolling down the river. We'll just do a stop or two along the river and call it quits. I just wanted to show this to you and dedicate this episode to my friend Jeremy. So, uh, one of the things about roguelikes is you never know um, what you can and can't do, and they're always constantly surprising you. Like, I did not know there were areas that you could just loot. And that is that. Sorry for the California term, hella awesome. So here we go. So I've got a campsite here. It's a little dock here. You can see there were some other things um, around. Furious Falls often has flint, always has a lit fire. All right. And sure enough, there's a lit fire. I'll take your rags. Loot, lumber, shit. Loot all of this. All right. How are you doing out there in Internet Land? Um, have you played Flame in the Flood? I know as a PS4 nerd, I'm, uh, I'm new to it. Uh, I know those um, cool Xbox guys and gals um, have probably already played and mastered it, but um, 
don't know. What do you think of it? If you have played it, uh, any tips? Let's. This should be fun. Okay. Make a stone knife. And then, I'm gonna make a snare. Not like a snare drum, like a snare to capture um, cute animals. there and I'm hopefully gonna chase this bunny and yeah oh that's kind of sad the vegan in me is sad but that's okay got some yucca I am going to survive this day. Uh, skin rabbit. Make some jerky. So, you know, some inventory management uh, you got to deal with, which I don't mind. Um, actually, I kind of like inventory management in every game except for Dragon Age, which I don't know why. Um, I guess they accumulate too much stuff. Uh, my girlfriend is a big fan of Dragon Age, and I always hand the control to her, and I'm like, hey, uh, let's go ahead and, and manage this inventory. I can't. And she's happy to oblige. So, that's good. I'll go one more stop here. So, yes, you just float down this, uh, this river. I mean, these graphics are gorgeous. They remind me of the, the movie Coraline in, in a weird way. Um, not even in a weird way. I don't know why I said that. It, just looks like Coraline to me. Um, and I love the music. Um, I'm a fan of, like, really guitar-heavy, uh, but not, like, dun, 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 dun. like, I mean, uh, you know, just delicate um, guitar. And that's what this is. I am, like, so happy that I found out that I can loot this stuff. Ooh. Let's go here. Uh, so you can upgrade everything, including your raft, which I've yet to do. Um, but it is something that can happen. Jars, that's right. All right, well, I can upgrade anything, I can do repairs, but I don't need it. All right, I love um, games that are kind of easy to learn, difficult to master. I'm sure there is a deep Wikipedia wiki um, for this game. I haven't dug into it yet. I just I just play. So, let's see if we can't find a place to rest and call it an evening. And let's rest in creepy old church. So again, there's a trade-off. 
more sleep, but you get thirsty and hungry. That's all cool. Um, yeah. I think I might do a part two to this in, in um, a week or two. Come back to it. Um, if you want, that is. Um, let me know in the comments below. Um, what do you think of this game? Do you want to see more of it? Um, yeah. Uh, until next time, I've been Aerocrow. You've been awesome. That's been Max. That's been Flame of the Flood. And I will talk to you later. Hi, Jeremy. I miss you. Cool. Bye, everybody. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a moment of the fun. And share with your friends, because who doesn't like sharing?